The video shader position can be in several different locations in a control room, in the second row or even at the back of the room like we are here. And sometimes it's in a separate room altogether. Things to keep in mind when determining where to put the video shader are, are you using camera control units or CCUs for short, and remote control panels like this one here, they're also called RCPs. Do you have enough cable to reach the RCP from the CCU? Are you putting in a set of monitors that show all the cameras like we have here? Are you adding a small switcher so they can select their own sources to shade like this one here? It is important that the shader has a properly calibrated monitor to view each camera so they can see accurate color and luminance. Now, if your budget doesn't allow for all these things, then you need to put the video shader in a location where they can see the main monitors in the control room. They should still have a properly calibrated monitor of their own to see accurate colors. They should have a set of scopes so they can set proper levels and an intercom to hear the director so they know which camera comes next. And this is the basic setup of the video shader.